All right, welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different uh, from my usual uploads. I'm gonna be doing a news video. However, I have it marked as news of the week, but I don't really know if that's what I'm gonna be doing from now on. Um, of course, I'm gonna be super busy with uploading every single day until TI starts. And I'm not able to make news of the day videos, which is what I would like to do because there is a lot of news that comes out throughout the Dota scene. Um, and I also would not be able, to, if I were to do News of the Week videos, I wouldn't be able to do them on Fridays, which is typically when you'd want to have kind of a summary of the rest of the week. Uh, but maybe I'll do them towards the start of the week on like Sundays or something like that, just to just to give a summary of everything that's gone down, uh, notable or even just some fluff news as we see here. Um, but regardless, for now, this is going to be the start of the news series. Um, so yes, uh, starting things off uh, with our TI-10 tickets are now on sale. Uh, that's via Vikram on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, there's only 15 days to group stage, but there is still 20 days to the main stage. So uh, obviously you don't need tickets to see the group stage. There's nothing to see. They all play in hotels. But if you are interested in going and watching live, uh, you have 20 days to get yourself some tickets unless you're just going to the finals day. Uh, next up, we have Team Nigma merges with Galaxy Racer uh, to make their own mixed team, uh, Nigma Galaxy, as a sub team that they're going to be having in the SEA region. Um, so basically, nothing really changes. The team uh, that Galaxy already had, the roster stays the same. They are just now affiliated with Team Nigma. So nothing hu really huge there, but it was a pretty big announcement for Team Nigma um, and showing that they're kind of expanding a little bit and start starting to have a little bit more influence. Uh, it's starting to remind me a little bit of uh, when teams like OG and Virtus Pro had their sub teams. You know, OG had OGCs or some something like that, and then VP had VP Prodigy. Teams are slowly starting to not do that, and I'm not saying that Team Nigma is doing that exactly. Obviously, it's not a sub team that's beneath them. It's just another team from another region that they are affiliating themselves with. So yeah. Uh, next up, a little bit of fluff news, Aoi2000, uh, obviously TI champion and TI5 of the Evil Geniuses, and now Talent, um, a talent that I think is really coming into his own. I've I really enjoyed watching all the content he's been a part of, especially over the past uh, DBC year. It's been really fun listening to him. Um, he basically put out a quote saying that he thinks that this is our TZ tournament to shine. So uh, there's a full article posted. Uh, I'll link it in the comment uh, in the description uh, down below or you could also find it on reddit but basically it just talks about Aoi thinking how this is going to be Arteezy's year to finally break through obviously Arteezy has never won a Valve major tournament uh, so yeah that's uh, that's still something that's weighing on Arteezy unfortunately uh, next up will there be a patch uh, this is again just kind of some fluff this is a little bit of question is obviously we had a patch a few weeks ago but things are still kind of a little bit out of whack. There are some heroes that I think are a little bit overtuned. But will we see any changes? Again, there's only 15 days until group stage. You got to change something. If you are going to change something, it's got to be sooner rather than later. You can't really be leaving it to the last minute. So just something I'm, I'm curious about is if they're going to put out a little sort of balance patch. You know, one of those patches where they only just tone down some of the heroes that are really excelling uh, too, too much, I would say. And finally, the Compendium arrives. This came out a few days ago. Uh, Fantasy, obviously the player cards are back. You can open them now. I think everyone is aware uh, as it is in the client. Uh, but Fantasy actually opens September 30th. And of course, uh, Fantasy works where every single day you have to lock in a new Fantasy roster so you can swap it up uh, so that you have the best roster possible. Um, and preferably picking players on teams that are gonna be playing as much as possible. So teams that are going to go far in the tournament or teams in the lower bracket that are playing multiple rounds, if you anticipate them winning, obviously pick a player from that team because they're going to be playing more games, meaning more fantasy points. Uh, so yes, that opens September 30th. The main event uh, predictions. So obviously that's uh, who has the, which is the highest hero or most picked hero, you know, stuff like that. Who's going to win the tournament? Who's going to have the highest GPM? All that fun stuff. That opens up October 7th, so the day that the group stage starts. And then finally, we have our bracket predictions, which I'm going to be doing as well. I'm going to be doing all of this stuff on the channel when the time comes. Um, and the bracket opens up October 11th, which of course is the final day of the group stage. So I'd imagine that once the last day of the group stage concludes, we're going to know all the teams attending the main stage and where they're going to be slotted. And then that's when that will open up. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This was, again, just kind of a short news video. I don't know how often I'm going to be doing these, but I just figured that it'd be good to start having a little bit of summaries for anyone who might have missed some of this stuff. Again, 
it ranges from kind of important to not really and just kind of fun stuff to, to talk about in the comments section. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later today where I'm going to be having my T, uh, TI-10 review and preview of Invictus Gaming, uh, the second, second place team from China coming in. So if you don't want to miss that, please subscribe and I will see you guys uh, later today.